Hi everyone, everyone, very short video today. Today we'll be looking at the short division strategy uh, in stage three mathematics and also looking at um, coming up with remainders. Um, it is a very efficient strategy when looking at division and if you can get quite reliable with this one, it is really awesome with finding um, or dividing two numbers by each other and finding a remainder. So uh, let's get straight into it. So first of all, I should be showing you how to set up the short division model or the bus stop method. So in this case, we've got a 56 divided by four. Now there's lots of different mental strategies we could use to work this one out, um, but today we're gonna to focus on that short division strategy. So what you need to do is make sure you line your grid paper up nice and evenly, otherwise it can look very messy. You need to draw a straight line up here and then one going two across. Now the reason we're going two squares across is it so each square can represent one number. Now I'm gonna type my numbers in, but generally you'll be using a pen, or sorry, a pencil uh, in your maths books. But the first one is you need to put in the number you're dividing by on the outside there of the bus stop, and on the inside, the number that you are dividing. So in this case, we've got 50, five tens, and six ones, which make 56. And if you line it up in your book nice and neat, just as I have done there, then, um, it should be very easy for yourself to read and also your teacher to read as well. Now, how the short division model works basically is you turn it into a much easier division model. So we've got four or 56 divided by four. So in this case, we're gonna take the number being divided four and we're gonna see how many times it goes into five here. Now we're not actually seeing how many times it goes into five, we're actually seeing how many times it goes into 50 here. But because it's easier just to do how many times does four go into five and keep the tens column lined up, let's just keep it that way. So, have four goes into five exactly one time. Now there is a remainder though, it goes into five and there's one left over to make five. So that one doesn't just disappear, we need to move it and put it into a new spot. So I'm just gonna use a pen to show us that in red. And that one is gonna go right here in that ones column. So now we've got four goes into five one time, and then instead of four going into six, it's how many times does four go into 16? So we know our four times tables really, really well, and four goes into 16 four times. Now because there's no remaining numbers, it goes exactly into 16, we know that 56 divided by four is 14. And that's the bus stop method. So let's do four more uh, examples and some we've remained as in a bit more difficult and uh, make sure you're writing along at home just to give yourself a bit of practice with this strategy. So here we have four different models here. Um, five into 65. Now if you know your um, divisibility checks really well, you'll know that 65 is divisible by five because it finishes in five, but let's use the uh, short division strategy anyway. So five goes into six exactly one time with one remainder. So that one remainder, again, is gonna go next to our five down there. Now five goes into 15 three times. Oops, not 23, three times, and make sure it's lined up nice and neatly. Again, there's no remainders in this one. It's perfectly divisible, 65 divided by five is 13. Move across to our green example. Now we can see already 287 divided by four is a bit more difficult, however, because four is an even number and seven is an odd number, they're not gonna be divisible by another. So we're gonna end up with a remainder for this one. But let's get started anyway. So four, does it go into two? Because four doesn't go into two evenly, I'm just gonna even this up a little bit. Then we need to move on to the next column and turn it into how many times does four go into 28? Now we know four goes into 28. Now, because we're superstars with our multiplication tables, four goes into 28 exactly seven times. So seven times four is 28. Now, because there's no remainder, we don't need to move anything over to this last column, the units, and we can go four goes into seven, or we know four goes into seven once, and there's three left over. Now, when you've got a remainder with the bus stop strategy, in this method, we are just gonna write a little r, remainder, Keep it nice and lined up and even. 
therefore it's really easy for you to see how that works. In a future video, I'll show you how to get a decimal remainder from this, but today we're just gonna focus on a remainder. Um, let's move on to the purple example. So seven goes into seven one time. Seven does not go into four, okay? But seven does go into 43. Now I know my sevens times tables really well. Seven goes into 43. And make sure you put a zero there. Seven does not go into four, so zero times there. Seven goes into 43 six times. Six times seven is 42, which means we do have a remainder, and that remainder is a remainder of one there. So 106 remainder one. Um, yeah, there, so it's really important to know your number facts and times tables when using the short division strategy. If you're having trouble with them, I recommend moving back and getting really um, confident with your six, seven, eight, nines times tables because that's gonna really help you um, complete these much more efficiently. Last example, our orange example, we've got 1,378 divided by six. Um, let's just jump straight into it. We've got six. Now six doesn't go into one at all. However, six does go into 13. It goes into 13 twice. Then there is a remainder, a remainder of select that, it's not letting me do it, a remainder of one. Now six doesn't quite go into 17 three times. It goes into 17 twice to make 12. So I'm gonna write a, another two there. And they are a little bit different size, I'm not sure why, but that's okay. Um, and then we have a remainder of five, and that five is going to go into our units column next to the eight. Now this is a bit of a bigger number to work with, but we can use our multiplication knowledge to help us out. Now I know six goes into 60 10 times, so six goes into 58 nine times. So I'm gonna select that and put a nine there. Now nine times six is 54, so we do have a remainder, a remainder of, a remainder of four in this instance. I'm just going to fix up this little tiny two because for some reason it wants to be a bit smaller than all the others. And we don't want it to look too out of place. I think it might be a 36 will make it, yeah. So 229 remainder four. So it's really important to keep it lined up, boys and girls, and to know your multiplication facts and division facts because that'll make using the bus stop method a lot easier. Um, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.